Welcome back to another episode of Live Lit and Legit. You did. They called me two cups, y'all, but I can't find the first cup. My boy, what my cup said? Oh, man. Hey, boy. man. It's your boy Q Smith and always your boy. Always it's your boy B. What it do, baby? I got my cup. I got my one cup. I ain't got my one cup. Okay, you remember that? I got my one cup. I got my two cup. Hey, I got my one cup. Hey, I got my one cup. Hey, I got my two cup. Hey, I got my two cup. Hey, I got my one. I got my two. I got my one. Hey, what it do? I'm back in this thing, man. We back in this thing. Trying to studio in a minute. Feel like bit out. Hell, it's been like two weeks. Yeah, been like two weeks. I just, just, they we, don't know it's been two weeks, but we know it's been two weeks. We be working. Be working. Working. That's why we got stuff in the can. My man. Hey. <laughs> so when we ain't in, we still in. You did. Let's talk about can. I'm talking about track can, basketball, basketball can. I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about. You seen that talk to seventy five list? I did, my friend. Cool. Do you I, feel like some folk left out? That should have been in though. Um, not more so of left out. I feel like it's some people that were in there that didn't deserve to be there. Okay. Cause I know one young man. I don't know if you, you know, you know what kind of hat you got on? Oh yeah. Houston Bay. Tracy McGrady. T-Mac. I'm talking about, not the big man. The Mac man. T-Mac. The man. Mac man. You himself. You don't think T-Mac should have been on a... <sighs> Were well, Grant Hill on there? Nah, Grant. That's what I'm saying. saying. Like these folks was like iconic. Like, but were they iconic simply due to what they did on the floor, or were they iconic simply because we came up in that era? See what I'm saying? See, 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 because like I feel like my my nephews they idolize people like Dame Lillard and James Harden. And you know what I'm saying? James Harden don't deserve well, he he wasn't on the list and he shouldn't be on the list. Dame Lillard was on the list. I don't think he deserves to be on the list. You see what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm, I don't know, my man. We talking top seventy five. Because because I'm talking about yeah, what they did on the flow. So like the folks were so iconic of what they did on the flow, like that like Okay, if they think that's Dame Lillard, like you say, us coming up, that Grant Hills and our, that was our, if not bigger to me, because I've, I've been able to see both. So, I really think them boys were just before they time. Like I don't think Grant Hill deserved it, man. I, I mean. He was on the Sprite can. But it <laughs> it you know sucks. It, it sucks because Grant Grant Hill was played with injuries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they really hurt him a lot. Um, but, when I Okay. When I think of Grant Hill, and people going to probably kill me, the, the man, basketball here is going to kill me for those when I think of Grant Hill, I think of Rick Fox. They're one and the same to me. Because you, you can't think, interchange them. Because you need to start watching TV. Like, something wrong with <laughs> I'm you. I'm just saying, you can interchange them, man. Bro, like, cartoon. I don't know what you be, how you be looking at. I'm just saying, You're you saying that because they complexions, bro. <laughs> no, it's, and they're the they same get, position. Get, I mean, get, but. Get him. No, I mean, seriously, though. Grant, Grant Hill's impact on the overall game of basketball. What was it? Grant Hill? He was on. Because, it could. Okay, listen. And any. Any sport, baseball, football, any sport, basketball, cause you have to be some more than amazing. I'm talking about more than amazing. I'm talking about a phenomenon to be able to be on any cereal box, Sprite can, shoe endorsement. You have. To I mean, be- he 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 was good, but that doesn't mean that he deserves to be on this list. Because this is the elite of the elite of 75 years of the NBA. This is the top of the top. It gets You had Michael Jordan. You had LeBron James. You had Charles Barkley. Oh, yes, you agree. had Shaquille O'Neal. You had the greatest of the greats, Dominique Wilkins, on this list. Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Grant Hill didn't deserve to be on that list. You said Dame Lillard. Dame, Dame, Dame and Lillard don't deserve so, either. Okay. Neither does Anthony Davis. Okay, so if you feel like that, that's 73. So how you get back to seventy five? Well, now we, we we got to go and start digging through the archives. Grant Hill, Tracy McGrady, <laughs> you feel me? But you can't you can't put you can't if you're gonna take off Dame Lillard and you're gonna take off Anthony Davis, you can't replace them with T Mac. Is you crazy? What? Simply for this Bro, reason, you crazy okay. man? T Mac, okay. T Mac. This is Tracy McGrady's career stats. Played fifteen seasons, seven teams. He averaged nineteen point six points, five point six rebounds. 4.4 assists and 938 regular season games. He was a seven-time All-Star, uh, MVP, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. 
Cool. So how in the world you we not talk? Okay, if you want to go about stacks, like Anthony Davis has played ten seasons. Oh, this man, he'll get. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so far, he's averaging twenty three point eight points, ten point two rebounds, two point three blocks, and two point three assists in six hundred and one regular season games. He has been an All Star eight out of ten years. He's even won a championship. He will be in the Hall of Fame. Okay. You got Dame thing over there? Glad you asked. Dame Lillard <laughs> <laughs> has played 10 seasons uh, for the Trailblazers. He averages 24.6 points, 6.6 assists, 4.2 rebounds, and 711 regular season games. Uh, he's been to six All-Star games out of 10 years, and, and he won Rick of the Year. And he probably will be a Hall of Famer. Okay. You now, that? so you can't. Remove these two and replace them with him. The man is in the Hall of Fame. That's only because he's already retired and he's eligible. The other two, they're going to be in the Hall of Fame as well. Anthony Davis is going to be in the Hall of Fame. I agree. Seven-time All-Star. Anthony Davis has eight. Dang, has six. In less time. This man played 15 years. They at 10. Okay. And, and they're already up there with him as far as all star selections go. Dang, he broke down. He broke T Mac down like that. I'm just saying, I, and I love T Mac, man. One of the most iconic moments in NBA history to me is when he punted the ball up in the stands. But I can't say without a shadow of a doubt that he deserves to be on this list. Y'all over y'all mean? Oh, y'all shouldn't be on the list either now. Y'all put y'all mean on the bench put Trace McGrady. Y'all is not on the list. Oh, he ain't. No. Oh, I thought y'all made the list. Y'all don't. I don't even think y'all gonna make the Hall of Fame. Y'all, y'all. He was a phenomenon when he came in, but come on, y'all was really, really, really not that great. Okay, but they ain't no look though, man. Uh, some good points though, my boy. Good points, but still though. I'm just saying. Hey, man. Like, I'm, that's confusing in itself, too, though. Like, okay, so let me ask you this. Dang, see, that's... I got a, I got a better one for you. No, nah, that's hard to say, though, like... By your logic, you talk about uh, icons. Do you think Jeremy Lin deserved to be on the, on this list? No. He was an icon. Because we talking about... He was but, iconic. This man did 15 seasons, though, because... Jeremy Lin's still playing. Because... Fi- he okay, cool. Fifteen seasons, bro. He was an icon for the first season. Like nobody, like what team he play for now? Do you think Carm- everybody, everybody do you, knew? Do you think Carmelo Anthony deserves to be on? This? Of course, of course. He's not though. I don't think Melo. Melo was on the list. You sure? Pull up the list. I can't pull it up right now. I'm oh. handicapped. But yeah, pull up the list. Cause, cause, what's the name of Cub? Melo is on the list, Cub. Mellow, Chris Paul, D Wade. I saw Chris Brun. Paul, saw D Wade. Yeah, slime on the list. Like, yeah, of course. D Wade. That's why, because when I say, because yeah. that's what I say, man, bro, you have to be some iconic, by my logic, go from your talents on the court, which got you on a serial box. Now, I'm saying this is in ages and stages, you feel me? Errors. The serial box, a shoe deal. A Sprite can, Coke, Nike, like, you feel me? You but got- you really can't judge that because they're going to go to who's the most marketable. So, like, in today's time, check this out, check this out. you got to be good to be marketable. I'm sorry, right. Great. I mean, but, like, it, I but gotta be- everybody good is a marketable. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're you're talented and you're great at what you Bro, do, I'll- that don't mean that you're marketable because everybody doesn't have the personality to be marketable. You, that, am I making sense? Yes, but these, I'm saying, these, these are the f- people I'm talking about are, though. Yeah, I mean, but I, I'm I'm not gonna judge their performance based on them being marketable or not. Charles Barkley is one of the most hated men in the NBA. Now he's very marketable. He's very sociable. You know, you see him everywhere. When he played, people hated him. You know what I'm saying? He he was gonna they were gonna be slow to give him a commercial. But he was in the movie, so I disagree. I mean, he was in the movie. He also had shoes, but. Um, what I'm saying is <laughs> I'm saying they like, they would be slow. Okay, okay, at the end of the day, you gotta okay. Be- our African brothers. Matumbo, Elijah one, they will be slow to market them because they're not very marketable. They were still great players. 
But yeah, well, we that, that's I will say I agree in today's time, but back then that didn't matter because like you don't have to be very personality wise to put your face on a cereal box. You don't, you feel me? But it's a cereal box still that big of a deal now. Not that's why I say in today's time, but back oh, then, no. like that's why I say it's different. You feel me? Stages to, but that ain't no, bro. I just feel like if you was, you was effective like that, bro. You had that major effect not only in the game but in the world. Cause how you not on that list? So who who all do you think is missing from the list? No, I just want to get that T Mac on my chest though. That was number one. This is it. <laughs> That's the number, number one, one person you think. Missing. I can I can go in artifacts and dig, like you know what I'm saying, cereal boxes and you feel me like, but bro, but that's uh so everybody on the list is Hall of Fame, a Hall of Famer or soon to be. Is what huh. you are telling me? Should be. It's if for you to be on this list, that should have been the criteria. So what if there's a Hall of Famer not on that list and then I mean, I'm, I'm, but I'm sure every Hall of Famer won't make the list though. How many people is in the NBA Hall of Fame? That's a good question. I, f- I feel like it may be oversaturated. Y'all tell us. The fact that T Mac is in it just tells me that it might be a little oversaturated. You feel me? Because I personally don't think T Mac. Hey, I got mad. Close said they need to be tested. He he went on the list. No, hey, I was on the list. Oh, he, he was, was mad because T Mac won. T Mac won. <laughs> Well, I mean, everybody can't. If they just open it up and let everybody on, it wouldn't be that big of a list, that great of a list, not with it. Yeah, but think about it. So, well, we just have to start coming up with what they gonna start doing there twenty five years. And then, okay, and then that's only it was seventy five living. No, that's no. I knew, of course, of course, that was so. Going think on. if Kobe was to still, of know. course, of course, and you know all the other greats that have passed, um, the list would have been even smaller. So mm-hmm. then you'd have got more people like a Dame Lillard, wouldn't have been able to make it. Uh, Anthony Davis, who I feel shouldn't be on this list, wouldn't have been able to be on. It. Why do you feel like Coach should be on this list? Because I feel like there's o- there's stack. other great centers though that was more deserving than he was. That didn't make the list. The Kempe Matombo didn't make the list. No, 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 no. He wasn't on the list. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, man, it's your boy Q Smith and your boy B-Man. Hey, go to BeatStars.com. I'm going to say it again. Go to BeatStars.com. If you want to buy a beat, sell a beat. Sell a beat, buy a beat. Go to BeatStars.com. And right now. BeatStars has given us a special promo code to pass on to our loyal listeners. If you uh, type in L3, go to BeatStars.com and use the promo code L3. You'll get one free month of BeatStars Premium. And BeatStars is not only for buying not only for buying and selling beats, but if you're an aspiring rapper, they will also post your music to streaming platforms on your behalf. Oh, that's and hard. you own 100% of the royalties from those streaming platforms. I'm man, telling so. you, man, right now, man, listen, BeatStars.com. Use that promo code L3. You did. You did. Man, go ahead on, man. <laughs> what you got, me, man? Man, uh, real quick, man. You ready to go oh. to war? You ready to go? So y'all seen what been going on with the crane? <laughs> with the crane. It's insane in Ukraine, It's insane though. in Ukraine, man. man. They, they doing battle over there, man. man we pushing big prayers for Ukraine. Uh, man, more definitely, man. Uh, anytime there's conflict going on anywhere on Earth, it's always a big deal. But when that conflict involves Russia. It's a bigger deal. It's a bigger deal. It's, it's definitely scary. And basically, what Russia's doing is Russia said, hey, Ukraine, um... I own you. I've always owned you, and you don't deserve to be independent. So this is what we finna do. We just finna come back in there, and we finna take this back over because you're ours. So basically, if you don't know, Ukraine was part of the, the original Soviet, of Soviet course, Union. Of course. And when they uh-huh. broke off, they started their own nation, and uh-huh. Russia's just like, yeah, that ain't going to work for us no more. I'm saying, though, they couldn't just go about it another way? When any time a country overtakes another one, there's only one way. There's is never peaceful when when uh no, when England had the United States when the United States broke away from England they didn't go to a table and like so look this is what we're gonna do we're gonna break away and you know everything's gonna be good shake hands and walk away no people had to die 
I mean, cause why you just can't go up the street? I know it's a uh, they got plenty of bandos. Why, you feel me? On in the Ukraine. Oh, you saying just, just pay them why, cash on out? Yeah, you feel me? Why you just gonna pull up? No, you just gotta pull it up and you feel me? Okay, I'm just, we just gonna put this together. You feel me? Live here. You feel me? Cash folk out. Hey, you want? You feel me? Trying to just take over. That's what. That's all they do with uh the regentrification. But it, it don't when it come down the countries, man. No fuck when trying to leave. Heads got to roll. But see, though, but see, that's a, that's another thing, though. Like, did cuz even tell cuz, like, look, cuz. I mean, basically, it's, uh, what they call it? Uh, extortion. They extorted the cuz out the whole country. Extorted who? The cuz of Ukraine. Well, yeah. they, they, I'm saying, they, they could have extorted them, but cuz probably went with it. So that's why, you feel me? Yeah, because, cause, you know, Russia had been been at the border for a couple of weeks. Like, they had all, all they, their troops camped out on the border. And so I guess that was their their power move right there, and then I guess they wanted Ukraine just to be like, okay, we we surrender, yeah, yeah. y'all good. Yeah. And Ukraine never would, and then the Ukraine and and all it boils down to is this: so, uh, the United States and a bunch of other countries they have the NATO, you know, the North yeah. Atlantic N- Treaty, NATO, yeah, yeah, something. Mm-hmm. So basically, Ukraine was never a part of NATO, but they were uh, an affiliate. Of NATO, mm-hmm. like a gang, you know what I'm saying? They were in talks, you know. The United States, they did business with the United States and with this country. They were an affiliate, so it's like, okay, okay, I got it. Ukraine is a crip neighborhood, right? Russia's bloods, it's you know what I'm saying? Uh, Peru, right? Su, Su, Peru, no, Peru, same Sewell. thing, yeah, blood, but well, not the same, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so. Basically, the, the the blood gang start approaching the Crips, like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? What y'all doing? I'm trying to make sure I get my analogy right. So try to put, to put this thing together on the fly. The, okay, so listen. The bloods, the blood gang approached the Crip gang, right? Right. The Crip, no, I said it wrong. Ukraine. The Crip. It's, the, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 15-year-old teenager who's not a part of no gang, Right. A little weird. Go <laughs> <laughs> follow me, follow me. It's gonna all make sense, right? Ukraine's a 15 year old teenager who's not a part of no gang, he's affiliated with the Crips. Uh, Russia is the Bloods, uh-huh. so Russia start approaching the, the, the 15 year old, like, hey, bro, what's what, what going on, bro? Wait, 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 you wait. know, this is a this is a blood neighborhood, right? Uh huh. And look, click you claim, yeah. And the little 15 year old, like, but I'm chilling though, man. I ain't a part of no gang, like, yeah. But we be seeing you over there talking to the Crips over there. What you doing? What you doing? This you is banging, you banging Crips, yeah. And he just, just kind of stood his ground, just like, bro, I ain't doing nothing, dog. I'm chilling, just leave me alone. So the bloods every day, they just kind of circling, talk, jump, talk, jump, talk, jump, mm. till they got tired, and then they jumped him. So right now, the little 15 year old getting jumped. So the fifteen year old getting jumped into the blood game. Not not jumped in. He just getting jumped, right? So now the fifteen year old, he looking back out his crook buddies like, Hey bruh, y'all gonna step in and help me? And all his crook buddies just like, Hey, I mean, I'm i I'm just saying though, like, we don't really want that smoke right now. Like we kinda got issues within the, in in our own community that we trying to sort out, you know what I'm saying, bruh, like hold down, you know what I'm saying? And that's kinda where we are right now. Okay, so if the if the blood game is Russia, mm-hmm. Ukraine is the fifteen year old teenager, right? Who is the Crips? United States, girl, we cripping over here. Crip game. Oh, we the Crips. We the Crips. As we say that in red, both of us. Okay. Now, if we the Crips, we just did some cripping. Cause I just heard that we took down. We 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 we, we, we were messing like it's you know it's bloods and Crips. You feel me? Now we come peacefully to a some degree. So the Crips were advertising something for the Bloods, believe it or not. But when we found out that the Bloods had jumped a fifteen year old teenager, we had pulled a product off the shelf. You just came down. If you are a fan of Russian vodka, 
sucks to be you today. Oh, it. Because the United States and Canada has removed all Russian vodka brands from their shelves. It gets deep with these Bloods and Crips and the 15. Anybody checked on the 15-year-old? This Ukraine. He hurting. That 15 year old hurting right now, boy, and they still jumping him. And he the head of the blood gang. Head of the blood gang right there. We got, got a shooter with him. That's a little shooter. <laughs> 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 no, <for real. laughs> I'm just saying that that's the that's the that's the most street scenario. That's the most street analogy oh, I can give to on live and legit, you know, keep it, you feel me? Both ways. You right, did. right, right. So So everybody comes. Prayers up. For the little fifteen year old right now, you feel uh, me? Prayers up for the fifteen year old right now. The blood is taking them down and through there. You feel me? And uh, and then on. you know, uh, Joe Biden, you know, he the, he the head of the crook game, and he's just like, hey, we ain't finna go nowhere. Y'all just chill. What the fifteen year old parents at? <laughs> <laughs> My scenario finna get stupid now. This get, is the crazy the, part, right? His father is a blood. No. See, because technically, because he broke away from the oh shoot, now I'm gonna put a hole in my scenario. He broke away from the blood gang, right? Back in the nineties. Who who Oh shoot. Okay. Oh, uh, no. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta tie it together now. He ain't fifteen, right? All right. He thirty. Oh. So here's <laughs> <laughs> he's 30. Man, he fucking ain't got no penny no more, man. And so he so this this is this is what really happened. He's he's a 30 year old. <laughs> he did a little bit. He used to run he used to run he was affiliated with the bloods uh-huh. and he ended up doing a little bit for a little robbery. You know what I'm oh, saying? Nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah, just a little robbery. A little robbery. Rob, robbery. Rob, rob a little convenience though, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be about sell. Okay, okay. Sell, okay. you know what I'm saying? State. You feel Went up state with it. Right? Touch back down, back on the block, he chilling. Doing this thing, my man now work man. You know, nigga driving ambulance, bro. Like he 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 working on his job. He's driving he drive ambulance. He's driving ambulance now. You know what I'm saying? Got a little family or whatever. He he be chilling, just okay. out there chilling. You know what I'm saying? Got some partners in the crib gang. He just be, he be kicking it. You know what I'm saying? So the blood pulled up on him. You know what I'm saying? They're like, hey, bro, what up, bro? You know what I'm saying? You you was part of what up? What's going on, dog? You I remember you what, flip when you, I remember when you were fitting, right? And he's like, bro, look, I ain't, I ain't on that no more. I'm chilling, working my little job, driving my little Amelant, you know what I'm saying, doing my little thing. They're like, nah, bro, I ain't going down like that. Then they jumped him. Mm. And now, so now he looking back at the Crips like, bro, like, I thought we were partners, man. Mm. And the Crips just like, hey, folks, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Okay, what about the parents, though? See, his father was a blood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. His father died in the shootout. Okay. With the police. Okay. Right? okay. You know what I'm saying? And okay. so, because his father was blood, his loyalty always lied with blood, right? Okay. So, but, uh, you know, when he got converted, he started changing his life. He just went straight neutral. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, he he he, he never denounced the bloods because that's his roots. Okay. But he wasn't kicking it no more. Oh. Uh, See what I'm saying? And then dad ain't there for the defend him. Dad ain't there to defend him. Uh, what did mama do? I don't know. Mama, mama, uh, see, mama grew up. See, then in that time period, mama ended up on crack and stuff in the streets. Oh. So he didn't really have a, you know, it's a stable uh, childhood coming up. Okay. So the bloods kind of adopted him, just kind of took him in. You okay. know what I'm saying? And yeah. Okay. Rough life oh, for that young fella. Oh, now that's hard. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that's man, hard. you know, now now he's he driving the ambulance or whatever, but he getting jumped. You know, my man got a whole wife and kids, you know what I'm saying? Dang. He can't even go to work tomorrow. Could have to drive himself to the... <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the ambulance, man. <laughs> So, How that works? So, Go ahead. Prayers out to the thirty-year-old yeah, ambulance driver that's in jump right now, man. Uh, name Ukraine. That's insane. That is insane. What's going on in the? What Ukraine? else is insane, man? What else is insane, man? This week, if you don't know, your people's back in the oh, news. Oh man, we've been covering this for how long? Shoot, when when did it happen? It happened over a year ago. Yeah, track like three. When track like four? Hey, Tory Lanes. Megan, Miss Pete, the Stallion, Pete, 
right. Y'all already know what's going on. Um, Megan is a legend that Tori shot her one night at a party, and they've been going back and forth. Well, they had their first court appearance. It was scheduled for this week. One DJ academics uh, tweeted out or put on Instagram, one of the two, that basically they found no DNA of, of Tori's, none of Tori's DNA on the gun. Which the internet erupted into, well, he's got to be innocent if he ain't got no DNA on the gun. Um, then, come find out, the court date was actually postponed to April. Megan immediately hit Instagram and was just like, DJ Academics is basically mine. Um, there's no way, you know, he would even get that information, even if it was true, blase, blase. She, in turn, dropped a text message thread. Uh, of Tori apologizing that night um, And in, in the text message thread She claimed that it would show that he shot her But in the text message It's basically just saying Hey, I'm sorry I was drunk You know what I'm saying uh, My bad I understand if you don't want to talk to me no more I completely get it But I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart I'm sorry People are also alleging That that apology was because Tori was not only sleeping with her He had began to sleep with her best friend And so that's what that apology was for So I don't know, because I was not there. But Nobody what knows. are your thoughts? My thoughts is more a story, you feel me, because of him both on from the back. You feel me? Megan didn't know that he was hitting La Mama from the back. Then La Mama knew that he was hitting Meg from the back. But when Meg found out that her best friend was getting hit from the back by cause she got enough feelings. Some way, it was strapping the bike seat, you feel me, pulled it out, tussle, 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 back. And when it banged, La mama caught the ricochets, you feel me, the fragments, you feel me, and they were no direct shot, you feel me, you feel me, when it hit what it hit, you feel me, them fragments hit that little foot. What if, try this scenario, what if Meg and her friend was tussling over the gun, and Tori jumped in to try to wrestle the gun away, and the gun went off, and now she's just putting all the blame on Tori? However it went down. It was about cause cause him from the back. So, so you you're almost 100 percent sure it was all based upon. No, I'm not saying 100 percent sure because I went there, but I was saying if you want to tell me the thing, just think about it. Why is these emotions thriving this high? If it, why nobody ain't talking no more? Why everybody ain't? Yeah, that's right. Why, why is Megan her best friend not talking? And where is the Jenner girl who was there? I see nothing. No evil dude. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody talking. I don't see nothing. She no was there that nothing. night. Where is she? I would have. She knows what's going on. I was just in there counting up. I don't know what's going on. But no, though, that's all. Which one is it, Kylie? Kylie. One on with them. That be it. Chloe, Kylie. You got Kylie, Chloe. Courtney. Courtney, Kim. There's another one. Well, it's okay. Another one, too. Huh? The mama? Mm-mm. Kylie, Chloe. Oh, we're talking about the. Courtney, Kim. And the fifth one. It's my cool. You talking about all the girls? Yeah, ain't ain't, ain't, ain't a fifth girl. It's only one for. No, it's um, uh, it's the two little sisters and then the three big sisters. Courtney, Kim, and Chloe are the three big sisters. And then Kylie and what's the other one? Kylie, little sister. <laughs> name? Um, you know Kylie, little sister's name. Little, um, you know that little uh, that little what's her name? <laughs> well, let me for real though. Uh, um, cause I don't know. Kylie that. and I'm gonna be I keep up. on wanting to say Caitlyn, but Caitlyn is the dad. Yeah. Them folks looking at us crazy, man. I mean, I'm, I don't keep up with the Kardashians. Nah, I don't either, man. I don't know. But while he looks for that, I'm just going to keep on talking. Kendall, bro. Kendall Jenner. It wasn't Kendall. It was Kylie that was there that night. Yeah, Kylie was in it. Yeah. Um, Kendall be ducked off, though. Kendall be ducked off. I believe, though, um, y'all those slime, boy. That's all. God dang, man. Shout out to Rufus A. Court in April. Shout out to everybody, man. Hope everybody. Court in April. Huh? 
court. April, you said they postponed. Oh that. yeah, yo yeah. Court, the court date, the new court date is on April, y'all. This is gonna be an interesting. What y'all think? Right, you feel me? What so think? what? What I'm thinking, we gonna do one of us got to go over there every day, and sit up in the courtroom. Oh, no. so don't they run your name when you? Nah, it's it's open to the public. Oh, it is. You gotta go through the metal detectors and walk in. Yeah, I'm too close to law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm all right. laughs> uh, what else going on, man? That's 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 when I tell you all I got on this beautiful Bro, Saturday man, morning. Yeah, yeah, it was all good. I that was good, man. man. Just a nice little update. You just wanted to put the people down, man. Put them in, put them up, put them stuck. You did. I want y'all to pick up what we're putting down, man. What we're putting down, man. Please pick it up. You did. And where can they pick it up at? Uh, always find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, website. Live legit on everything. Live lit legit on everything. Hey man, it's your boy Two Cup, Charlie Q Smith, and I was your boy B. Hey, that's a rizzle. Man, look at man, y'all sitting here watching these videos. So you know what? Why you just click on one of these other two or three? That's sitting here waiting on y'all to click on and go and get in the next thing. Get busy. Function with your people. Lively legit. You know what it is.